Hi everyone. In this tutorial, I want to talk about feedback masters in Storyline 360, and this also works in Storyline 1 and 2. Now I've got a quiz slide here, and when I choose an answer and hit submit, I see some feedback. And in this case, it's telling me that it's the wrong answer and I can have another go. So I'll try again and try a different answer and submit, and then it's telling me that it's correct. So the, the layout of the question and the answer, or the position of them on the slide, is controlled in the slide master. But these, this feedback that I'm getting in these grey boxes, that's actually controlled on the feedback master, the colour, the position of that. So let's take a look at that. I'll, I'll close the preview down. And you'll see on my quizzing slide in slide view that I've got some layers on this quiz slide. I've got a correct, incorrect, and try again for those different uh, possibilities. You only see the try again if you have more than one attempt set on your on your slide. And I can, can I can actually edit the text uh, from the layers, but the position of this grey box at the back here, I, I can't do anything with that. So I'll need to go to the feedback master. So go to the view tab and Feedback Master. And the Feedback Master works in much the same way as the Slide Master. I have this controlling master layout at the top and then underneath I have some layout. So if I hover, I've got a layout that's used on, on the correct feedback layer, the incorrect, the try again. If I'm using a review in my quiz, the review feedback is displayed on a layer. There's one there for uh, survey questions and then just a blank one. Now, in this, in this the, the top feedback master, I can click on the edge of the grey box and select it and maybe just you know, change the colour to something else. And you'll see that colour is applied to all of the different layouts underneath. I can change the position. So if I moved it over to the right here, it moves on the layouts underneath. Now what I do find is I still have to go to each of the layouts and move the text boxes. So it only moves the, the grey box even though I'm moving the, these text boxes uh, uh, for the individual layouts. And if I really wanted to do some customising I could get rid of the grey box altogether and select it and then delete it off and so it's completely gone. And I even, might even get rid of this little line that's in there as well and delete that off. And I could cr create a completely different look and feel for my feedback. So still in the feedback master area, I could insert a shape. I might just insert a rectangle and I could just draw it over this side of the, of the master. Maybe recolor it so that it's got a different feel and, and outline. And I could move my button onto there. Have it at the bottom, uh, bring that rectangle shape all the way to the back so that it won't cover up everything. And then with the, the text boxes, I could just reposition them uh, on the, on the, in the yellow, in the, in the rectangle that I to the right uh, of the, of the layout. And what, what you I'm doing this, it's, well, it's applied that, uh, rectangle to all of the different feedback master layouts. Now it hasn't adjusted the position of the text box so I could um, go through and, and look at the size and position on here of the of the two text boxes and then apply that to the to the slides underneath but I find the easiest thing to do is just delete the text boxes off the slides underneath and from the, the top master slide I will select the two text boxes from here and however you copy and paste, just paste them on, paste and paste. Now sometimes you might also like to, you might also like to have a different colour for the different feedback layers. So maybe correct and incorrect we might like to do red and green. Now at those layer layout levels I, I can't select the shape either. So a way around that, yeah, apart from creating another set of feedback masters, is from the top layout, I'll select the box from there, I'll copy it, and I'll paste it on what would be the correct feedback layer. <clears throat> now, it's the same color, so I could go to the Format tab, and I could change the fill and the outline. Now, it is covering everything, but if I right-click and send it to the back, then now I have a different colored feedback master. And what's actually happening is that green, what is a green box now, is just covering up the blue one that's underneath.
so it's still there. And I could do the same for my incorrect. Paste it on, right click, and send it to the back, and also change the colors out so that uh, you know it might be for the incorrect. And I could do something again for, if I wanted to, for the try again, uh, or I might be happy just to leave it the, the blue color. So now I have for my three different possibilities, correct, incorrect, and try again, I've got three different colors. And you can do anything. You could add pictures to these feedback masters. You could have a completely different style. Use circle uh, as an area to put your feedback, whatever you like to do. But the beauty of doing them here is that once they're done, they'll be applied once you go back to your question. Now what's happened in this case, the colored boxes have updated in the position, but the text boxes haven't. And this happens because I'd already inserted the question and it didn't quite kick over properly. But to fix it, all I need to do on each of the layers, yeah, so I'm on the correct feedback layer, if I right click and go to apply layout, I can apply the new correct feedback and that will update the position of the text box. Right click layout, that's the incorrect one, and try again, just to update the, the positioning of those, those text boxes. But what I like about this particular design now is that I can see both the question, the answer, and the feedback at the same time. By default, generally what can happen is that feedback layer will cover the the the, the responses uh, underneath it. <clears throat> Plus it doesn't really allow uh, a lot of room for if you wanted to give more detailed feedback. But those sorts of things are, are customizable from the feedback master. So go ahead, give it a try. Uh, completely change the look of, of your quiz questions. Theme it in with the, the colors in your course or the branding or even the, the colors that you use in the player. Well, that's all from me. See you next time.